Okay, here's your picture that you drew. I open up Cinema 4D. Okay, we have an empty scene here. I'm going to create a cube and make it very big. Edit scale. This is going to be our stage. And I'm going to move and bring the bottom up to the the ground, so to speak. I'm going to select face and delete that and delete that. Then we go back to object and now. Okay, I want to create a cube. I want to create a sphere. I want to create a cone. Okay, while we're here, let's move to move the cone up on top of this, this cube. In fact, let's make the little bit smaller and then move it down to it sitting on top of the cube. Select the cube. We'll move it up until it's sitting on the floor. Okay. Now we're going to move our sphere up. And then we got to make a cylinder. And we're going to rotate that 90 degrees exactly. Okay, then we're going to move that over here. We're going to make that editable. Okay, now we're going to make a copy of that cylinder. Move that up. Okay, now we're going to scale it. We're going to make it smaller. And then longer. And then we're going to rotate it. That way, 90 degrees. And then we're going to move it over here so it intersects the cone. But up, over a little bit. Okay, now let's grab our room here and put this more in the corner. Okay. Okay, now we want to create a light. Let's move it way up like that, way back. For shadows, we will use ray traced. Okay, now let's get some materials. Wood. Doors. Wood. Doors. Doors. This is different types of wood.
Okay, now we want one that's going to be metal. some glass too. Mm. Glass. Okay. Okay, let's make Oh yeah, one more. We'll make this room, this, we want to use hypernerbs, bring it to there, and we're going to duplicate it a few times. We're going to put our cylinder in one, this cylinder in the next, this cube we will leave out. This cube we'll leave out. The sphere we will put in one. The cone we will put in one. And we don't need that one, so we can delete it. Okay. Now we'll take this there, this there, this there, this there, and actually let's make that chrome. And then uh, we'll make this glass. We will change, ooh, I almost forgot. We need our light, shadows, ray traced. Okay, yeah, that's good. Now we want to go here, go to output, change that to 1280 by 1024. We're going to use global illumination. Okay, now let's move our camera down some like that and render see it's uh, rendering and It takes a while to render because it has to calculate where the light is going. You see the sh shadow underneath of here and behind the cube. It's calculating where the light shines and where it reflects. And as soon as it's done calculating, it will render a picture for us that is beautiful. Almost there. There we go. make this a hundred percent the normal size oh there we go glass all three the wood and the chrome sphere what kind of metal okay that's one example I hope you liked it